Hey guys, check House of Mopar. The Cuda is done. And she's clean. Here we go. Hey guys, Chuck House and Mopar, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna try to finish this up. This, uh, getting this uh, 70 grill into a 72 Cuda. Uh, last video, I was running into trouble and uh, I quit. I quit because it was time. So today I'm gonna start by uh, removing the headlight bucket again and trying to fit this in here and see if it's hitting what it's hitting. It seemed to fit before. So let's talk about the CUDA, the E-body, the 70 uh, through 74 CUDAs and Challengers. So if you ask me, this is about the most sexy car Chrysler ever produced. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the, everything that came before this thing. Uh, but they were sedans, you know, mom and dad's car. that they, they hopped up hugely and uh, I love them all. But anyway, so 70. Uh, brought out the e-body and with this car you could get uh, every engine Chrysler made and of course they had the TA Challenger with a 346 pack not to mention the six barrel 440 and uh, Hemi Cuda and all the Cudas came with the shaker hood which honestly guys that's what I'd really like to have someday I mean the AR or the uh, shaker car I don't know I'd have to change my intake to get a shaker to fit and then it's still gonna be a weird issue so anyway um 71 you could get all 70 71 is really the heyday for these cars i think because you could get of course convertibles a uh, barracuda was your 318 you could get up to a 383 the slant six is 318 uh up to a 383 two barrel maybe a four barrel in the barracuda uh the grand coupe was a stylized or a up version of that you know where you got different colors you got a uh, leather seats i think was stock and overhead console, fun crap. Interesting thing about 1971, uh, you guys can uh, dispute this or not, you couldn't get a 444 barrel in 1971 in a, in a Cuda. It was a six pack car or nothing. So in 70, they built about 49,000 70s, a uh, pretty low number. And 72, it dropped drastically. I got numbers over here because I can't remember. They had 17,000 cars. All right, I thought it was more for 71, 72, uh, 18, 73, 19, 74, 11,000. So they never really, as cool as these were, they, they were no Mustang or a Camaro for crying out loud, hell. Yeah, so anyway, but I love them. Anyway, yeah, so 72, this was as good as it got. It was a, this is a true 340 car. Um, 73, you can still get the, uh, I think a slant, 225, 318, 340, and then in 74, you got the 360 first year. Anyway, so got cats running through here. Anyway, let me quit boring you. I'm going to pull this apart and uh, see what I can figure out. All right, here we go. She done. Yep. Went together okay. I still mess with this light a lot. Um, this isn't factory perfect, but the car's bent. The header is bent, I'm sure. I'm bent. But, um, you know, when you start thrashing and get mad, you scratch paint. I should have uh, taped that off. <clears throat> in fact, the clip that's in the top and bottom, they're not even doing anything. So let's scratch the paint for nothing. There it is. There's the header down below. Uh, the AR would have had road lights. I'm not going to do that. It would be cool. Rally car, something like that, or the TA stuff. I did, you know, just drilled in. There's no, uh, there's no, those plastic squares that go in, they're not there. Um, 
Not bad. The only thing I don't have, I don't have emergency flashers or parking lights. And I think I'm going to live with it. This is, the 72 had three plugs. And that is for something. I may look into it. Um, yeah, here's the grounds I had to make that go to here. Yeah. Uh, she's done. You know, in a job like this, and I know better, and I, I kind of employed, you know, you kind of got to quit for a while. I do crossword puzzles, and I can be looking at one and be tired and put it away and come back two days later and just finish it. It's like, what the hell? So, yeah, when you're doing a job, it's just like it's time to quit. So, um, yeah, let's get her cleaned up and get her out. Maybe go for a boot. All right. There she is, 70 Cuda. Hardy har. To be honest, this is the first time I really stopped to take a good look at it. Uh, it came out okay. You know, things are pretty good. Not a lot of half assing going on. So, in case you're wondering, those are 245s and 275.60s on 8 inch wide wheels. They fit. Um, the AAR came with 235s. And 245 or 255s in the back. The only cars that Chrysler ever built with different sized wheels and tires or wheels, tires, whatever. Same with the uh, TA. Yeah, there she is. Can't beat a black car except when it comes time to clean it. So, yeah, still a little wet. Um, this side is not Mamo Par Factory tight. There's a slight gap. Well, that's actually good. Uh, yeah, guys, I can't complain. Um, I did plenty of complaining before. Uh, yeah, there she is. This is the Organosol. This is, uh, like, eggshell feeling. That's the same stuff that comes in a spray paint can that I got from the front. I spilt a little gas on there in the past. Of course, I cleaned it all up right away. It has never, uh... We got going here. Uh, it's never taking the paint off. All right. I suppose we got to go for a little ride. I think so. I think I got a brake problem, guys. That front brake is, I think that one, like, press on the brakes a little bit. She comes to a stop, so something's locked up. All right. Let's go take her for a ride. Hey, guys. Well, let's take her for a rip. Um, she's warmed up. It's just after the 4th of July, and this is the first time I've taken this car off this year. That ain't right. That is not right. Anyway, yeah. So this thing made 390 on a chassis dyno last year at the Mole Party uh, with a bad ignition system. It was cutting out like 5,800. It wasn't even going that high. 4,800 to 5,300. The MSD box was bad, so uh, yeah. It's gonna take her up to about 65 on that one of the pulls, but just wasn't gonna happen. So yeah, here we are, gonna hit the highway. See what the hell the deal is with my brakes. Something ain't right. Figures, it's always something. Machinery doesn't like to sit. It's just been sitting. on there none yet it's too hot out right now 
Well, I guess the moral of the story is if you're going to show off, you better be good at showing off. <clears throat> yeah, I missed thir third, two, three shift twice. Um, I think I'm hitting a red limiter, uh, a rev limiter still, which was my MSD box last year. And that sucks. So I'm going to have to check it. It does have a settable deal. So workbench is fairly clean, clean as it's ever going to be. Louise is in the bullpen. Got something coming up on that. And you know, the bugs cleaned off this stuff. There's the old girl. I'm going to sell it. Sell all of it. Most of the bugs are off. Anyway. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. See ya.